Hello, I'm Leanne from Crafters Companion and I'm going to be showing you in this video how to construct our builder scene dies which we're adding to the range of Crafters Companion. They're really innovative and really usable dies. They give you lots of options to create your own scenes. Really usable and I thought it would be a good idea for you to see exactly how they go together so you can understand that in detail. So this is one of the dies that, we'll go, that we add into the collection and this is our kissing gate. Um, there are several more. There's another YouTube available where you can go and have a look at the full range and I explain all of the different designs to you. So if you're interested after you've watched this, go and have a look at those. But for now we're going to focus on the kissing gate. So we've got a full range of dies which when put together will create wonderful dimensional cards such as this where you can really see through so it's that old-fashioned tunnel book sign uh, design where you can build up a scene specific to what you want to show and color it in whichever fashion you um, prefer and you can use one layer or ten layers it's entirely up to you so we'll talk through that in a little bit more detail but hopefully you can see how beautiful that is so that's the kissing gate design now, just to show you why I think these are very different and innovative, these are the dies that you'll get in the Kissing Gate set. So you've got a Creator card, which cuts the detail in at the front, and I'm sure you're all familiar with Creator cards. If not, we'll have a little talk about that too. You've got your wall, you've got your hills, you've got your church, and you've got your tree. The really different and innovative thing about all of these accessories that work alongside to create this tunnel book scene effect is that the dies do not cut on the bottom edge. So what does that mean? It means that if you take a piece of card, let me just show you that. So if you take a regular piece of card, cut the die, then the church will stay, as you can see, intact on the rectangle of card. It does not cut on the bottom edge. You can see that there. It does not cut on the bottom edge. And that is how you get all of the pieces to build up in the layers of the tunnel to create this design. So let me just show you that in a little bit more detail again to make it really obvious for you. And I'm going to give you all of the dimensions for these little pieces that I'm showing you in a second, so don't worry about that. So your first layer for the card would be a piece of backing card cut to the relevant size, and don't worry, I'm going to tell you that. You've got two concertina side edges that you can see there on either side, and then we're going to build up the layers in between. So with this next layer, what I've done is take, and let me grab it, the hill die. And the hill die has been cut, get it the right way around, you can see there the hill die has been cut on a piece of card and then that has been adhered into the first layer of the concertina. The second option, again another layer of card with our brick wall, has been cut in and then that's on the second layer of the concertina. So we're starting to build the dimension. The third layer here is the tree. Oh, sorry. And you can see that there. And of course, because the tree does not cut on the bottom edge, it's remained intact in the rectangle of card. I'm going to show you how to get those hills in this demonstration. So that is my third layer. And then my fourth layer was my church. And I don't know where that's gone. Never mind. We'll go straight and fast forward to the fourth and fifth layer together. The fourth layer was the church. And if I hold that up, you can see that there. Church is on that fourth layer, how all of the layers are building up. And the final layer is the creator card topper, which gets stuck on to be the front of the card. And that then creates that wonderful kissing gate design where the gates open with our little church, then the tree, then the wall, then the hills, and the back of the card. So that's how all of your layers build up to create that builder scene tunnel book effect. So hopefully that helps explain the concept. But how do you use them? Well, let's have a look at that. So to start off, and these are the important, so this is where you need a pencil or you need to save this video and rewind. What you need to cut is two pieces of white card to create this, and this is what we're going to be making. Be a good idea if I showed you what we're going to be making. So we're going to be making this, and to create this, you need two pieces of white card cut to five and a half inches square. You then need a two additional pieces of white card. You can see I've got here. There's my other piece of white card. So two pieces of white card, five and a half inches square. Two pieces of white card which are five and a half inches long by two inches wide. 
and then scored at every quarter of an inch and concertinaed to make that fan effect. And we all used to make little fans and dicky bows when we were at school. So that's exactly what you're going to do with that. Make a little fan and they're your two side panels. So that constructs your card base. And then you just need little rectangles of card that you're going to cut out your church, your trees, your wall on. And they can be in any colour you like. They can be white and they can be coloured with your colouring mediums or you can use a coloured card. The design possibilities are yours entirely. I'm just going to use white card today to make it really obvious for you. So before I start to cut the pieces, I'm just going to glue my backing card onto my concertina. So you can see what I've got here is my piece of white card and then just with some uh, blendable dye ink I have created myself some sky and some grass to build up the scene and then I'm going to put my concertinas in place. Now I always recommend that when you're doing this at home yourself use a wet glue unless you have a really strong tape pen like a Crafters Companion tape pen. If you don't have them why not? Go and check them out because they're fantastic. But if you prefer to use a wet glue, um, use one of the Kalal ones that we've got. And people are going to be so fascinated with these. I do think it's a good idea to use a wet glue when you're adhering it. So you can see what I did was put two strips of tape pen on the back of my coloured piece of card. And then I'm just adhering my little concertina side that I've just created to the back there. So that you can't see where I've glued it or glued it even. Same on this side. So, goes in there like that and then sticks in place. And I've just used a tape pen, you're going to use a wet glue. So that's our base card created now. We've got our five and a half inch square bottom that I've coloured and then we've got our two little concertinas on either side. And then just keep giving them a good a good fold in place because you want them to remember where they need to be and you want those folds to be nice and precise so be firm with it and then that sticks in place so there we go we've got that and that's, that will be freestanding when it's got its front on so that's ready now to have its first layer so the first layer I'm going to create is um, my hills and wall I'll come back to that in a second and I'm then going to create a tree layer and a house layer so let me show you those a house layer and a tree layer and then I've got my hills and my wall ready to stick in place. This is easy but I want to show you how these work because I think that's important for you. So I've got a piece of rectangle card firstly and then we're going to do our house die with that. So to build up your plate you're going to obviously use your Gemini and you're going to build up your clear plate, your shim, your magnetic shim ready to cut. And then if you position your tree where you want it to be. Now, there are two ways you can do this and let me just explain that to you. I think this is a good handy tip for you to have. You can see here, if I build it this way, I'm kind of just guessing where I want that tree to go because I can't see it. So if I want to see where I'm positioning my tree because it's important, maybe I've made a pencil mark to make sure that I'm getting it in the right place. Build your sandwich the opposite way. So put your card onto your clear pair first and then position your tree where you would like it to be. Now the good thing about these builder scene, and this is one of the really important things is, because it doesn't cut on the bottom edge, you can build the scene however you like because now you can position that tree anywhere you like along here. And it will cut but stay intact. So your, your tree could be at the left of the design, at the right of the design, it could be right in the middle of the design if that's where you want it to be. Choice is yours with every single one of the elements in this collection, which is fantastic. So we're going to go about here. I want it to be intact, so I want to be able to create a hill. So I'm going to move the tree to the top of the piece of card, and then I'm going to cut it. And again, if you've got some repositionable tape at home, you could use that, but I'm just going to freestyle it. And actually, I'm going to move my magnetic in the middle, and then my die won't stick to it and move. Okay, so make up your sandwich, and then pop it through the machine. So these dies do have embossing detail, as well. So I'm just going to reach for my embossing mat. At this point, if you wanted to, you could run it through and emboss it. So you would just pop your rubber embossing mat in. I'm not going to bother because I'm sure you've seen that before. And the most important 
piece here is how to get the hills so this is great to show you what I mean about no, no bottom cutting edge and being able to position the tree wherever you want so when it's come out of the machine the die will be like this and when you remove your die you can see here that the tree has remained inside the card and I'm just going to get these little pieces out here because we don't need them so you can see exactly how it's cut there we go lovely so the tree has remained because there's no bottom bottom cutting edge how does that translate to this you just take a pair of scissors and decide where you would like a hail cut down to there and that comes away and then exactly the same on this side where do I want to start my hill? Do I want it high or low? Cut down to there. And there we go. How easy and quick is that? But your tree has remained where it needs to be. And that's really important when you see me assemble the card in a second. It works in exactly the same way for the church. But let me show you that. So I've got another piece of white card here. I'm going to decide to pop my church here. So take my sandwich again, build it up, pop it through, and it would work exactly the same for the hills. Oh, it moved. This is when you this is when you need your repositionable tape. And it's a case of do as I say, not as I do. But if your church is falling down, this is what it would look like. If your church has been taped in place. This is what it'll look like. But of course, exactly the same thing to um, create the, cut, the, the piece that's going to be stuck into the tunnel book. Just cut up to it there. Cut up to it here. It will come out. And actually, my church here could have been built on a hill. And that's a really another, another good way of showing you why it's important that these dies all jokes aside do not cut on the bottom edge because you can absolutely create whatever you like it could be that you're recreating Clavelli in Devon and everything in Clavelli in Devon is on a hill and the church actually does look like this so you can do Clavelli if you want in your own scene um, by not taping your die in place so hopefully you can see what I mean by that so uh, traditional level with the ground church and a Devon country village church okay so now how to put them all together we take our base that we've already assembled and you can see there with our concertinas and then we just build it up level by level. So my first background level in the furthest of the distance is my hills which was cut with this die here in exactly the same way as you've just seen me do with um, the church and the tree. And then I cut the wall into a separate piece of card here and I coloured that green with some blendable dye ink. I used a separate piece of card cut in my stone wall and then just glued that onto that level there and then this is going to get glued in place so take your tape pen or your wet glue run tape down either side here and then you're going to find the next mountain up so by a mountain when we look at our concertina here a mountain points up and a valley points down so the mountain, 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 and valley, valley, valley. So you, found, you find your next um, mountain and then glue it into the valley, if that makes sense. So into the next depression. So we're going to glue it here. I just want to show you that so you can see really clearly. We're going to glue it there on both sides. So just take your time to position that. Stick it. Find its matching position over here and make sure it goes right into the crease. You can see that there, so get it right into the concertina and that will help hold its shape and make it lovely and rigid and square when it's complete. And then glue into place. And that's our first level complete. Our second level is going to be the tree. And you see me create that earlier. Here we go. So this is what it looks like when it's being coloured in with some inks. And that was what you watched me cut out. And again, glue or tape pen on the back, just at the very edges. And exactly what I've just done here with this is find the next mountain and go in the valley behind. So just find where you're going to position that. Pop it in, nip it in place. 
and then exactly the same on this side find where you're going to position it pop it in nip it in place and you can see how that's the next the next level up just checking you can see yes you can final with the church and of course what would it look like if it was Clavelli? a little bit quirky so it's a good job that I had one done earlier so we're going to do our tape pen either side this is our last layer so we're doing exactly as we did before finding where it goes in positioning it nipping it in place and you can see how all of those layers are building up there and how you're starting to build your dimension through the different levels the final layer is our creator card and with creator cards from crafters companion i'm sure you already know this is a die which when cut into a plate so it doesn't have a cutting edge on any of the four edges they're all free cut it into a square of card and this is what you get a beautiful design already within there and then we're going to glue that in place now and you can see i've colored it up with some inks and put a couple of pearls on there and then this side here that puts the front on the card and creates that wonderful builder scene for you and that was the one I'd done earlier so you can see it's very easy to build up all of those layers and levels of dimension in there as you can see being built up there we've got the gates that open and you've got all of that view looking through so hopefully that's made it really clear for you hope you've enjoyed it um have fun and do share on social media what you make with these fantastic dies <laughs>